Mr. Kimo Ladovitsa, Ambassador of Finland to India. We are really delighted to have you, Mr. Sir. Uh, a warm welcome to Mr. Amit Verma, Director Niti Ayo, Dr. E.K. Vidyarthi, Scientist F. CPCB, Mr. Pavan Ketan, President Ipcha, uh, and uh, Dr. Kapil Narula, uh, who is the Chief, CEO and Executive of CI Water Institute. A special welcome to all our friends uh, from the government, industry, media, and various organizations. This was, this was it uh, from, you know, the matter written, given to me in writing. Now onwards, Kapil, I must uh, um, say a few words about the industry uh, from my heart. Friends, I must say, these are the exciting times. Exciting times not only for pulp and paper industry, but all the stakeholders put together. And I'm so very delighted and excited uh, to see uh, such a summit being organized uh, by the leading uh, organization of the country, leading association of the country, and that too at the opportune time. This is the ninth edition, and I still remember I was here uh, for the eighth edition uh, last year, and where I met my dear friend uh, Dr. Anti, uh, and then how we got connected together and how we discuss about the you know technological uh, engagement uh, with pulp and paper industry and the Finnish uh, uh, and uh, especially the Finnish as well as uh, uh, you know Nordic countries uh, various companies who are working in this direction. Friends just to give you a perspective of the pulp and paper industry and why I saw these are exciting times. Today we are close to one lakh crore rupee industry and if I can give you some specific numbers it is around 95,000 crore uh, industry today. We are one of the highest provider of employment in the country. Half a million direct families are given employment and more than 1 million indirect employment. And friends, no scheme of the government no major risk in the government can be fulfilled or achieved uh, without without uh, the uh, you know contribution of uh, pulp and paper industry. You talk about uh, literacy mission of India. Do you think is it possible uh, without the contribution of pulp and paper industry? No. You talk you talk about Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Clean India Mission. Is it possible without the contribution of uh, pulp and paper industry? No. So friends, uh, where are we today? In these exciting times, do we have any challenges? Yes. And uh, many of you might have some kind of deja vu when I, when I, when I uh, tell you a bit uh, those challenges because you feel like, oh, these challenges have been for the past uh, maybe couple of decades, but their form has changed. So today, the biggest challenge that the paper industry has is availability of fiber. That's the biggest challenge. So today, uh, if we take, if we talk about the composition of the paper industry, we are 71 to 72 percent uh, recycled fiber based, around 8 to 9 percent uh, agro fiber based, and and balance uh, close to 20 percent is wood fiber based, wood based. So friends, uh, out of this total pie, we are only 28 percent virgin fiber based, wood and recycled fiber, uh, wood and agro fiber and 72% is recycled fiber. So friends, uh, in India, the, uh, the uh, you know, the recover ratio of, of uh, recycled of, of fiber is around uh, uh, 50%. You know, the recovery ratio for the waste paper is around 50%. So now you imagine, this 72%, where to get this raw material from? Whenever recovery rate is only 50%. So this industry is forced to import you know, waste paper as their raw material. And this is having a long term impact. It is having an impact on the cost efficiency of the mills, of the producer mills. And we are seeing it. 
so the only answer to this to, to this issue is to give a push to virgin fiber based industry to give a push you know for for sustainable growth of this virgin fiber based industry and um, they have got their own challenges in terms of fiber availability for agro based industry i can see uh, competition coming from uh, ethanol producers so whatever bagasse is left out from the sugar mills uh, that is going for uh, for ethanol production in terms of uh, generating f- uh, steam fuel and similarly for wood based industry the problem is uh, we don't have sufficient land despite the fact that more than more than 20 lakh 2 million hectares of land has been has been uh, you know used by the paper industry to plant trees in the last uh, one and a half decades is still bit we have so much of barren land available so much of degraded land available so much of unutilized land available all across the country we have been demanding with the government to provide this land to us and now the food of thought what will happen if paper industry will get all this degraded land for tree plantation it will give environmental benefits mr vidyarthi is here it will give environmental benefits it will give economic benefits when i say environmental benefits you can all understand it will lead to uh, sustainable environment development it will give lot of biodiversity it will it will uh, it will uh, uh, the trees will provide the required carbon sequestration and when i say uh, economic benefit then it will give it will generate additional employment and not in small numbers in big numbers additional employment it will provide raw material to not only pulp and paper industry to all wood based industries all timber based industries and friends moving further it will uh, if we talk about the economic uh, benefits uh, uh friends uh, do you think uh, is there any other natural resource on this planet which can be grown as fast as a tree it will be grown in 4 years today we have got species which can be grown which can be harvested in 3 and a half years you see you just think is there any other natural resource on this planet which which can be grown so fast and which has so much of an economic impact so i would urge all the government uh, uh, bodies being uh, being present here and all the association bodies present here that we should take this cause in the strongest possible manner with the with the with the authorities uh, with the departments uh, you know to go for uh, sustainable agro forestry programs in a big way and friends uh, over the years uh, our technology has also grown we are cautious of the fact that we have to be sustainable not only in our product but also in our processes there is no denying the fact today that paper is the most environmentally sustainable product on this earth paper per se it is biodegradable it is biocompostable it is the most recycled product most recycled product on this planet paper in europe this figure is 74 to 75% in india it is 50% 50% of the paper is recovered and it is growing we are targeting uh, very uh, i mean next 5 uh, years the target is to touch 65% we are doing all concerted efforts so friends uh, my my take today is and my message to to all the participants today is that our product is is highly sustainable is environmentally friendly but we have to think of our processes also we have to adopt technologies we have to adapt technologies and these technologies are available we have seen in the past one decade we have we have taken technologies from europe from asia and we have adapted them to our requirement to suit our requirement to suit our our scale of operations our economy of scales and we have been successful in that and friends one last thing before i end up one of the biggest opportunity today we have everybody was talking about certain myths and there were there were proud uh, you know ps to everybody's email uh, maybe 5 years ago please don't print save paper save forest but no more friends uh, paper today this this myth has been dispelled 
and and it has been duly recognized that paper is the most sustainable product and it is the viable and economically viable and environmentally feasible alternate to single use plastic and there lies the opportunity today lot of companies are, are innovating you know to to use paper in place of single use plastic for various applications you take food uh, food products you take you take fmcg products you take uh, healthcare products you you take you take cosmetics and you name a thing which is being packed in single use plastic companies brand owners like unilevers nestles i can take the names britannias they all are working overnight day and night you know to make paper usable for their packaging applications there lies the opportunity just to give you one figure i won't name the industry i won't name the brand owner if one of their product one of their several products is converted to paper packaging instead of plastic packaging india cannot supply the complete uh, you know cannot meet the complete requirement four or five machines put together cannot uh, meet the complete demand of that one product that kind of opportunity we are talking about so we have to we have to you know we have got several challenges we have to upgrade technologically we have to reduce our our footprint in terms of water consumption and uh, as we all know uh, as far as energy and water is concerned we have we have done a tremendous work in the past couple of decades and mr vidyarthi is here uh, so i would like to highlight in his presence that i remember the year 2013 when the first charter for pulp and paper industry of ganga river basin came out under his guidance we all were a part of it and that created a precedence in this country that if there is a will then we can achieve even something which seems impossible and you are able to bring down the consumption of fresh water from the figures of 150 meter cube per ton to even less than 20 meter cube per ton in some cases and uh, less than 50 meter cube per ton in case of integrated paper mills <coughs> we have we have uh, we have made our effluent treatment plants uh, really efficient and result oriented so friends uh, i would say um, uh, whenever there is a challenge there is always an opportunity and we should and cash on that on that opportunity i think uh, this has been a wonderful wonderful uh, you know summit being organized by uh, by cii i'm saying in advance because i know the kind of efforts being put in the kind of speakers are there all throughout uh, in these two days we have got several sessions and all these sessions have been nicely curated we have designed these sessions in such a way that uh, we don't miss the underlying message uh, the underlying objective of this summit and for the first time we have also organized an exhibition couple and uh, kudos to cii for thinking on those lines so we don't want to only talk here we want to display and show also to our delegates that what kind of technologies and opportunities are available which we can you know use in our existing mills thank you so much friends once again and i wish you all the very best for next one and a half days to have really you know a good insight into into the technological world and once again thank you so much namaskar